uh, a couple of bases here. <laughs> yeah, we can do the bass part, boy. Because it's early. No, no, if we sing a bass part, right, a lot Friday, mm -hmm. just bass. Yeah. Okay, here we go. It's a low Friday. It's a low Friday. No work to Monday. A doopy doo, doopy 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 It's a low Friday. No work till Monday. A doopy 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 that was take two of Aloha Friday, wow, bass so style. <laughs> I'm Kibo Kahawano. I'm Ikai Kahawano. And this program is brought to you by... The Pacific Center for Economic Development and its Pelotron Company. So happy Aloha Friday, everybody, and thank you for joining us on this wonderful time. Uh, those of you who are across the country, am940hawaii.com. Got a, got a nice letter from a lady who listens someplace else, and she was very, very happy. Did I forget the letter? I forgot the letter. Oh, okay, because I remember I read one that we got... Um, uh, the executive director for Peace Ed sent to us, uh -huh. and Adam, who's in our studio. Yeah. Um, I read that uh, a couple weeks ago. The yeah, the that lady. was a nice letter too. So you yeah. got another letter. You got an actual know. like handwritten one. Either that or I got another one. Well, that's good. Know, from the same person. I don't know. Hey, okay. the more the merrier. <laughs> I'm not sure, but <laughs> it's one big party. <laughs> yeah. So it was really. It's, it's hey. always good to get a little, you know, email or yep. whatever. I agree. Yeah, it's all good. So thank so, you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And wherever you are. That's yeah, wherever, wherever you are. are in the country, wherever you are in the world, thank you very much for tuning in to am940hawaii.com. Tell your friends. Yeah. Because, you know, there's no show like this one. There is not. And I'll tell you why. Why? Son, it's because we're live. That's true. Okay? Mm -hmm. We're not restricted by, oh, you guys. See, I used to work in radio where everything you did right mm -hmm. was because they told you what to do right. Right. And everything you did wrong is because it was your fault. <laughs> Wait, cut. Wait, okay. Can we do that? Can we take that again? Uh, no, no, that's it. No, <sighs> shucks, we're live. We're live. <laughs> yeah, we're live. As opposed to being, you know, six feet under. Just in which case, kidding. no issues then. <laughs> uh, so, in the news, of course, Olympics has been happening. Yeah, I've just, I've been like overloaded Olympic. with the Olympics, man. I'm yeah. loving it. Yeah, I'm so Not, loving it. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's uh, unbelievable. We saw. Uh, Mr. Phelps. Oh man! Do it again. I uh, love that guy, man. Yeah. Yep. What what an amazing day! Twenty twenty gold medals now, and today he can win another one. Yeah, today he has the chance for another individual gold in the one hundred meter butterfly. And he won the one hundred meter butterfly when he went for the trials, right? Uh, to yeah. Qualify for I, the final he, last night. He set the the best time for the whole year in yeah. the trials at fifty point eight six seconds for a he, down and back butterfly. He was a little inspired by getting the gold, I think. Yep. Well, you, you know, he had, he had a bit, bit of a, a slower start, but the thing about Phelps that I love uh -huh. is, uh, is he's just a champion. Mm -hmm. He's just, you know, he makes, the, the thing that's great about him is, at least from what I've seen and what his interviews and everything, he, he doesn't make any excuses. If he has a bad day, like he did the first uh, individual right. medley, the 400 sure. that he was fourth place, he just says, hey man, I had a bad race. Yeah. You know, now there's, you know, there's all this competition, oh, Phelps versus Lochte. Yeah. You know, Ryan Lochte. But the, there, there are so many great swimmers out there. There are, there are. Oh. But, um, you know, I, I was kind of kind of rooting for Loch, Lochte until the men's 400 uh, medley, uh -huh. or the, four, the men's 400 team, you yeah. know, the relay. Yeah. <laughs> and I was just like, okay, you know, Lochte, it's time to, you know, kind of uh, get in there and help You're the right. team out. Right. So he had the anchor leg, the last leg of the freestyle. Yeah. And he had like a body length or two, and he lost, he, he lost his, his leg. Yeah. And uh, the guy from France, the guy who ended up uh, winning the freestyle um, mm -hmm. the next day as well, uh, kind of took him over. And I was just like, come on, Lachty, you had like a whole, your teammate set it up. All you had to do was knock it down. Yeah, well, that's the way so it goes, son. That's the way it goes. Uh, yeah. But it was, still, it was still upsetting. And up to that point, you know, Phelps hadn't won a gold. But then he won a gold in the, uh, the, 400, or the 200 individual medley. He won uh, that one. Hey, so uh, tonight, t today on the show, mm -hmm. we're going to have a couple of people. Michael Powell. Okay, yeah. Rene Paolo's son. Mm -hmm. So Michael's going to be on. Uh, he's doing a, a lot of work. Player. Yeah, and has been doing a lot of work in LA and right here in Hawaii. Done it all. So we're going to be talking to him. And also, we're going to talk to uh, Cyril Pahinui, yeah. who's the son of Gabby Pahinui. Mm -hmm. Now, up until just yesterday, yeah. Gabby Pahinui was the only Gabby. Okay? okay? Now we got another Gabby. We got Gabby Douglas. From the Olympics, Gabby <laughs> Douglas. 
Yeah, we do. Now, is it true that in the paper they may have misprinted her age? No, no, they did. They didn't. They just kind of started off the article saying at 14. Uh huh. She want like so you think that she's 14 years old. Oh, uh, okay. What it was was when she was 14, she was sent off to a special Olympic school in Iowa. Right, 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 right. A special gymnast gymnastics school. It's the in beginning Iowa. of the story. Sort of. I mean, you know, that was like where she got her specialized training to become a potential Olympic athlete. And because she wanted to. Right? Yes, because she wanted to, and um, you know, it was a rough road, and you know, ba I mean, you know, based on everything I heard or whatever, she wanted to kind of like get, you know, kind of say a law halfway through, but her family told her, you know, stick it out, stick it out. Stick and, look, it and now she got a gold medal in the Woo. women's all around. Did you did you see that by the way? Oh yeah. Uh, I was watching the. I all see around. everything. <laughs> Unbelievable. I watched it, um, and Gabby. Was and the thing is, it's all around, right? Right. So it's like all the events, yep. and you have to be like the best all around. Right. Mm -hmm. Now the the thing that kind of was kind of I guess kind of crazy was the Komova, the the Russian athlete. She killed it on yeah. the on the last one, which yeah, was she the, uh, she did. the floor exercise. Solid. Un like perfect, flawless. Yeah. So I was still thinking, came how come she didn't win? Well, she came in second because she. Her balance beam was not good at all. Uh, so if you watch, if you watch the whole thing and you just saw beam. the last performance, you think, how could she have won right. silver? She because nailed it. She yeah. nailed it. And Gabby had a couple of errors on the on the floor. Yeah. Nothing major, but right. nothing that. Cold but she had deductions. Right. But so. yeah. So anyway, but, but all around, it's, it's all beam. around. Yeah, yeah. So that's why I was thinking. Oh yeah. Well, she kind of did mess up on the balance beam. Yeah, Whereas yeah. Gabby was the most solid all around, and that's why she got the gold. So that's why she got the gold, and the rest is history. Yep. Flying high, as they say, and, and what do they well show? Deserved. Speaking of that, they show the balance beam in the paper. Mm -hmm. Yeah, show all about the balance beam. She did well on the balance beam, yeah. which is not her her signature event. The signature event is the uh, uneven bars. Okay. That's where she gets the nickname the flying squirrel or uh -huh. whatever. But yeah, she was awesome. Yes. Yeah, so I love watching the Olympics, man. I'm so pumped. I love the Olympics. Yeah. So because she's a girl, uh, Leilani Kupahu Moreno would like to say something. What, you, what were you saying? Oh. What were you well, saying? I guess I will say something about the gymnastics. <laughs> what were you saying? Yeah. You mean as far as gymnastics? Yeah. And just having been a gymnast, how mm -hmm. tough that is to be able to do all around. And as far as the uneven parallels, that is probably the toughest. The, the uneven the upper, bars? Yeah, the upper arm strength. I think the balance, the balance beam is beam, the hardest. That was my favorite, and that's what um, I actually excelled in. Really? So it is definitely a balance. Now, you have a what is it like to fall from the balance oh, that's beam? That's what I'm saying. It's, it's a scary thing, if you, especially if you don't fall the right way, you know, like a yeah. split on the beam. Uh, <laughs> like a split your head over? On the beam. Well, or you do a round or, off or something. Or other and don't, parts of your body. Yeah. Well, anything on the beam is just not good. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So and so that is definitely a technically challenging. That's why. That's wide. why the balance a, beam doesn't have a six-five gymnast. <laughs> because yes. frankly, it, it's it's a four-inch beam. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I know. It's, it's, so yeah. the beam would have cross. to be relatively. If you were six-four, the beam would have to be, you know, a sidewalk. So what you do is you practice. You know how you have the little <laughs> curves and they're only a few inches wide. That's how we would practice sometimes. You just anywhere you can find a narrow. Well, path. you're not. You're not any. On any given day, you're not going to see me doing back handsprings and all kinds of crazy ninja moves on a four-inch sidewalk. Okay. So I give yeah. them. I give them a lot of credit. Yes. Uh, yeah. Yeah. They, Great job. Athletes. And Olympics. the coach. Doing stuff and. Uh, and uh, just good God, stuff. I wish I was there. I just wish we had all day to do this, yes. but we don't. I, I'm, uh, I'm looking for the. I'm waiting for the sprinting, the, yeah. the track. That's what I'm waiting for. Well, that, hey, the big competition with speaking the Speaking of sprinting, we want to send out a big shout out to the Warriors. Okay, they are now. Bobos. They're, yeah, they're going in there, and uh, they're looking for a quarterback. They got some uh, great quarterbacks. They got to see who they're going to play in the system. Yeah. And uh, sprinting and moving as fast as they can because they got to play such. a... Uh, well, rated number three in the country, USC. Yeah, that's on opening number day. Number three in the country. Yeah, they're flying uh, to yeah. USC on yeah. opening day, so it'll be on national television. Yeah, so that's that's going to be very interesting. Did you see where the guys built everybody out of money? Did you see that? Um, was that the one about the uh, North Shore? No, the internet, internet guys. Oh, no, I didn't see that. The internet guys, this is unbelievable, okay? Mm -hmm. The thieves nicked the IRS, oh. the Internal Revenue Service, for billions, okay? Really? So, the uh, Internal Revenue Service may have delivered more than $5 billion in refund checks to identity mm -hmm. thieves, identity thieves who filed uh, fraudulent tax returns for 2011. Treasury Department investigators said Thursday uh, they estimate $21 billion could make its way to identity thieves' pockets over the next five years. And guess what the uh, wow. Congress didn't do? What? Congress has not passed. Uh, identity theft kind of situation to protect 
You said 21, 21 billion? On the internet. That, that, that's the 21 potential. billion. Wait, wait, not that's like four. That's like four rails. 1.5 <laughs> million undetected cases of thieves seeking refunds uh, after assuming uh, the identity of dead persons, huh. a child who would never, you know, file for for tax return. Uh, right. these, these are the examples. A uh, single address in Lansing, Michigan, that was used to file 2,137 separate tax returns. The IRS issued more than $3.3 million in refunds to that address. So is identity huh. theft have, happening? Yeah, yeah, folks. <laughs> $21 billion worth just for this past year. And you're saying, and I'm saying, Hey, can we have a, like our measly refund? <laughs> can we have a refund? No, you have if, to. If you're going to allow the tax identity theft to, to take so much money out of the coffers, at least give back to the people who are honest, who are helping their communities, and who can't get a break from our own internal revenue service. Okay, end of story. It's like it's like uh, George Costanza's all over the United Costanza. States. Costanza, <laughs> you mentioned Costanza. I don't understand how Just a this bunch of people can happen to us. Making stuff up. Okay, there's a lot of stuff. I bet all those guys are architects too, and they work for uh, Vandalay uh, Industries. No. Yeah. Yeah, I'm really excited about this. Oh, uh, so Desmond Tutu is here, the retired Archbishop from South Africa. He's here in Hawaii. I always liked his name. Um, Desmond Tutu. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, I thought he was Hawaiian. Desmond yeah, I did Tutu. too, yeah. How you doing, Desmond Tutu? How you, how you doing? How's the family? How's the kids? Okay. So, uh, any, anything else that's, that's uh, up for you? Well, Facebook's down to 20 bucks a share. Wait, ladies and gentlemen, a moment of silence <laughs> for all of you who got taken by Facebook. Okay, that's enough. Sorry, okay. I wasn't No, silent. no, no, no. So now... That was funny what you did. No, no, so, so I have, uh, I have uh, my uh, iPhone. Yeah. And it's good to know that now this is this little baby here is going to be obsolete yeah. when the iPhone 5 comes out. Well, which iPhone is that? I don't know. They could have been worse. You know. It could have been iPhone 4, iPhone 4.2, iPhone 4.8, 5, and then iPhone 5. Well, whatever. It's an iPhone. It looks it looks marvelous. Yeah, marvelous. Okay, they're going to have a bigger screen. Uh, you know, faster resolution or something like that. Yeah, it's gonna. Whatever, whatever it is. Yeah, whatever. You know, I still whatever. Get the basic. Don't worry. iPhone five, it's already history. They're planning for <laughs> iPhone seven. Okay. So happy birthday if you're celebrating your birthday today. Tony Bennett is 86. Tony Bennett. Let's do some Tony Bennett. Okay. When I come home to you, San Francisco. Your golden sun will shine for me. Hey, that was good, Dad. Yeah, Tony Bennett, he's like the bomb. That was good. Yeah, he's, he's like 108 now. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's only 86. 86? He's 86 years old, Tony oh, Bennett. Still, and still, still singing. Still younger than Grandma. So. Wait, you, you remember in the presidential election, they had him out in the cold? They had him out in the freezing cold singing. I said, you don't do that to Tony Bennett. No, you don't do that. No. Jeez, get a heater someplace. Have a little bit of hey, a Martin, courtesy. Martin Sheen. Martin Sheen, yeah. You've heard of Charlie Sheen? And He's taking all Emilio the Emilio Estevez. Somehow. Yeah. Very Martin very Sheen uh, is uh, daddy. He's the yes, daddy to them. Yeah. 70, 72 years old. Yeah, right on. Okay. That's young. I thought. I think he would be 86. No, no. <laughs> no, no. It's Charlie Sheen. He's been 86 from how many places? Okay. Lifestyle guru Martha Stewart. Okay. She even did jail time, folks. She's okay. She, she did. She 71. She's still making money. She did jail time and she's making money. I, I, I can't believe One she's One of the miracle 71. stories, Martha Stewart. I, I, I can't believe. I thought she was in like 71. 40s or something like that. Yeah. You know? Yeah. But, you know, she wasn't as colorful as... Who's that? Who's that? Uh, cook? The chef? Uh, Emeril. No, no, the woman. Julia Child. Julia Child. Oh, okay. Oh, Emeril, hey, Kaka, don't you know Julia Child? I do, there was a movie Get some Lao Lao, put it together. <laughs> we're looking for <laughs> With the chicken. <laughs> the Julia the Child and all that stuff. You, that's right, you put it with the tea leaf. Come on, Kaika. <laughs> <laughs> don't you know to cook it in the emu? Yeah. Okay, and uh, let's see now, who else? Uh, G North, Dennis the Menace. Mm. 61 years old today. Oh, wow. oh Jim. Yeah, the original. The original Dennis, Dennis the Menace. Dennis the Menace, yeah. Yes, yes, definitely. Uh, let's see now. 
Scrubs, John C. McGinley. Which is, is a great TV 53. show, by the way. Yeah, Scrubs. Really funny. It is. Uh, let's see now. Stray Cats. Mm -hmm. Bassist Lee Rocker is 51 years old today. Okay. James uh, Hipfield of Metallica is 49. Metalli wow. Metallica came to Hawaii. Recently? Or at, no, no, no. Played at the uh, Neil Place Arena. You know, I don't know any Metallica songs. You, you don't? No. Neither do I. <laughs> and actress uh, Evangeline Lilly from Lost is 33 years old today. And yeah. Lost, of course, shut all their television shows right here. Yeah, and why, uh, why Lua, yeah? Yep. Or Mokulia. And now, for those of you waking up uh, on Law Friday, maybe you're already, uh, you know, hitting the trailers, getting ready for 5-0. You guys, you guys still driving? Driving to, you're not driving to a location, are you guys? <clears throat> Probably all set up already. Okay, boys, yeah. Because, you know, the boys, Drive the trucks, they take care of five old guys. Yeah, sure, the actors get all the glory, but come on, who's the real boys? The, guys the boys the guys. driving the trucks and driving the people around and just driving. <laughs> okay, so everybody make big body. Kind of move out your chairs, make big body, talk law, and then there it is. Our tribute to the boys working for five old. Thank you very much. Okay, that's it. That's it for the intro. Yeah, well, that's it for now. Okay. Because what we're going to do is later. we're going to talk to Michael Paolo. Okay, okay cool. We're going to say hello to Michael Paolo. Let's find out what he's doing. Uh, he lives in Temecula now, but originally right here from Hawaii. Mm -hmm. And in fact, he's here, I think, in Hawaii. So we got to oh, talk wow. to him. Yeah, we got to find out what's going on. Okay? And we'll be right back with that. Uh, let's get to some music right here on Aloha Friday. I'm Kimo Kahuana. I'm Ikai Kahuana. And this program brought to you by the Pacific Center for Economic Development and its Pelotron Companies. You know, uh, so it's really weird because they were talking about Makaha, they were talking about Nihau, but at one time also they lived in Palolo. How's that? Yeah? I, is this confusing? So, is this confusing to you? Well, not, not too bad. It's only three places. To me, to me too. But uh, then again, you so, know. So the Makaha sons of Nihau. Yeah, Makaha Oh, we lived in Palolo for a little bit. Yeah, they, uh, they, well, Mo lived in Palolo too, their uncle, Mo Kiala. But that's just a long name for a group. Yeah, Makaha sons of Nihau, but we lived in Palolo for a little bit. So oh, just, that's a long name. Just cut it to Makaha Sons. There you go. <laughs> and, and great sounds, of course, from the guys. We have we have more sounds coming up. We're trying to connect with Michael. You know, we're going to do that. As, as a matter of fact, uh, you know who I saw the other day? Mm. Now, you've got all these political things happening, right? All these yeah, political the elections races. coming out, the primaries yeah, on the and, 11th. And, I mean, talk about dirty politics. Oh, for real, yeah. Dirty politics. Yeah. You know, in Cayetano, you know, you probably didn't know what it is about <laughs> then. <laughs> Ben Cayetano is my husband, and he's a very nice man. And I really, I'd like to just punch that other guy in the face, but I can't say that on the TV. So I'm going to be very nice, but Ben is very good. He's okay. a class act. Yeah, class just like act. this commercial. Okay, and then, then you know, all those the guys going for the Senate. That's mm -hmm. a big one, because uh, I mean, like Akaka I said, is gone. So now it's who can fill those shoes and who can make the right, you know, who's going to make the best decisions uh, in the Senate. Right, that's what you want. I mean, that's right. Who's so, going to make the best decisions for the, for the people? Yeah, for the people. Not for, for the top 1%. Right, right, for the people of Hawaii. They're doing all right. Yeah, yeah. so uh, so that's coming up. So I, I talked to uh, uh, John Carroll, who's mm -hmm. running against Linda Lingle. How's that? Oh, wow. Yeah, so we got to get him on. Uh, but let's take one more song, okay? It's Buddy for the Invitations. This is going back. This is real old school, but really nice harmony stuff. Oh, I like okay. Okay, Malia Maitita. I'm Kimo. Oh, yeah, that's a good song. I'm Ikaika. And this program on Aloha Friday is brought to you by Pacific Center for Economic Development and its Pelotron Companies. Ah, uh, you know, Ikaika. Well, buddy went, you know, uh, Buddy went to Maui. And for a long time he was there and became a radio personality and then traveled across the country. Came back to Oahu. And the last uh, big uh, concert that happened at the Neil Blaisdell. No, no, it was Hawaii Theater. It was Hawaii Theater with uh, C&K. They brought Buddy Fall into the show. That must have been show. a good time together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we, we got to uh, see that one. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. <laughs> no, that was good. It was good. It was really good. Cool. So uh, that's Buddy Fall the invitation. So, so we called Michael. Did you get Michael Paolo. We yeah. called Michael Paolo. Mm -hmm. And Michael Paolo must be sleeping. Well, he's a saxophone player. Yeah. So and he's up at night. That is a very soothing instrument. Oh, yeah, definitely. I'd probably sleep a lot if I played the sax too. Yeah, yeah, but he said he was gonna. No worry, Kimo. I'm okay. gonna set my alarm. <laughs> this is the famous last words I hear all the time. 
Don't worry, I'm going to set my alarm and I'm going to be up and I'll be ready for the interview. Right. Okay, two people told me that and they're both not there. <laughs> one, of whom we were, one of whom we were related to. Yeah, but you know, as long as we have, uh, you know, each other. <laughs> it's like the song goes, right? Yeah. What? How does it go? I don't know. There's got to be a song about it, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's something about it. <laughs> there's got to be a song. Uh, da, 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 together. <laughs> something about having each other. Yeah. Yeah, and being on the radio show. We ain't show. got a barrel of money. <laughs> Some people think that we're funny. But we'll travel along singing a song side by side. Don't know what's coming tomorrow. Maybe life through sorrow. But I don't know the words. So I feel like the birds. <laughs> anyway. Yeah. <laughs> Michael Jackson. Okay, so anyway. <laughs> so coming up next hour, mm -hmm. we are going to have Cyril. In fact, that guy called. For the mainland, he's waiting to hear Cyril. He wanted to talk to Cyril. I said, she'll be in about seven o'clock, right here. Yep, in studio. In studio. That's right. That's right. So we know we don't have to make a call and we'll get the, uh, you know, just leave a message and just I'll call you snack. back. Please leave a message. Um, I've hit the snooze button this morning. Yeah, definitely. Okay. So uh, celebration of Aloha is coming up at, uh, in October. Mm -hmm. Those of you, especially on AM940Hawaii.com. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be a grand Wailea. It's going to be a lot of fun. Okay. That, that's on. Um, so if you want to be there, make your reservations. Maui, yeah. Maui. Yeah. So make your reservations. Uh, we're gonna have a golf tournament on Friday at the Emerald Course. Mm -hmm. Okay. Which will be really nice. Okay. Emerald Course, most beautiful course of Wailea. Okay. And then, uh, during, also during that time, those of you into hula workshops, you know, uh, Rolling Casimero is gonna give a workshop. Mm -hmm. How's that? That's great. Hula, Rolling Casimero. You got uh, all different. How many workshops do we have, Leilani? At yeah. least, well, right now we have about 12 workshops. Leilani, you don't have to grab the microphone. Well, my <laughs> Okay. What's she saying with emphasis? She's grabbing the microphone. <laughs> Give me that. I'll tell you how many workshops we got. Well, the whole us. audience can hear you grabbing That's the microphone. Okay, so <laughs> okay. anyway. But you know what, so... Um, how many workshops? So right now about 10 to 12, I'll say 10 to 12 workshops, and one of them is Huyo Kaulua, which will be very exciting because that's going to be a day workshop as well as a night workshop. Okay, so that's about the Va. Yeah, the, the Va. Hula Preservation Society, okay. Pomana Crab, okay. Fashions with Aloha. Okay. Uh, Pomaika'i Kiawe Lyman. Oh yeah, Pomaika'i, granddaughter of Genoa. Aye. So She's going to give a workshop too? Yes. Not only just singing. Oh, uh, only. Wow. Gonna, because, you know, Auntie Genoa, she has that lineage, that legacy wow. with over 300. Cool. Who else? Oh my gosh. And then Quick, well, we this is free about, air talked, time. I know, we talked about rolling, <laughs> but I think, you know, so, and, and then some of the other, uh, Mihana. Uh, Mihana Souza. So, Aluli, uh -huh. uh, Auntie Ermgard Aluli, that legacy will be also celebrated. Okay. Uh, and then going to, well, the golf, as you shared, and then going into the Kanikapila that follows. So, we have Albert Malikma, Kuleva from Maui, Uncle George Kahumoku. Uh -huh. A uh, number of other, and Cyril actually wanted to come, so we'll probably end up featuring, you know, see Cyril that evening as well. Okay. okay. Great. The next okay. day we have Fashions with Aloha. He's our guest coming up at seven o'clock. Yes. So. Yeah, and then we talked about Humo Mo'olelo being able to come out during that weekend, you know, bringing back that magazine. But, but how do they make their reservations to be at the Grand Wailea? So you can call. From the 26th of October to the 28th. And on the front and back side just of the call? states, yeah, just call the grand, uh, call Grand Wailea at eight seven five one two three four, and that's all eight seven five one two three four. That's for reservations. Wow. It has to be with the uh, the block. Even I can remember block. that. Yes, you can. One two three four. Okay, we're gonna try to <laughs> connect, you. make a connection now uh, when we come back with uh, somebody. Okay, anybody. Right now we just we're just waiting to you know I'm gonna call and if somebody answers they're on the show. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm just joking, folks. <laughs> it's uh, 6.39, the islands. I'm Givo Kawaro. I'm Ika Kawaro. Uh, nice to hear you laugh, son. That's what it's all about. Hey, as long as we got each other, Doug. That's right. As long as we got each other. <laughs> oh, I gotta be on. <laughs> Good morning. Well, I'm glad you're awake. <laughs> the alarm didn't go off, huh? Well, that's okay. I mean, I figured we'd just keep call all morning and make it part of the show. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is Michael Paolo, and Kaika has a little update on Michael's career. So, uh, Michael, take a listen. 
One of the most versatile and cosmopolitan saxophonists in pop, soul, and contemporary jazz for nearly 20 years, Michael Paulo has added his, his distinct sax expertise to a virtual who's who of artists, including Al Jarreau, James Ingram, Rick Braun, and Peter White, Oletta Adams, Kenny Loggins, Patty Austin, Jeffrey Osborne, Jeff Lorber, David Benoit, Carl Anderson, Bobby Caldwell, Johnny Mathis, Kalapana, and much more. Woo. Please welcome the talented and accomplished, and legendary at that, Michael Paolo. Wow. Sounds like a bunch of cool people. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, it's cool. It's Sounds cool. like a bunch of awesome people. Okay, so, so what we want to do... Yeah, what we first want to do is kind of go back. Small kid days. You grew up uh, in what area? Where was the family hanging out? They can't hear us. Girl City? Yeah. 